Hi, today we will discuss how to find the closure of an attribute or set of attributes. We basically need the closure of an attribute to find the super key of a relation R. Let's start with an example. Say there is a relation R with attributes A, B, C, D and E. And here is the functional dependencies. A uniquely determines B, A C uniquely determines D and B uniquely determines B. These are the functional de dependencies which are given to us. So let's uh, start with A. We need to find the closure of an attribute A. So we denote it like A plus. So to find that, first what will we do? We will write the same attribute for uh, which we have to find the closure. So here we have to find the closure of A. So we'll write A here in the set. Now we'll look for the first functional dependency and see its left side. It is. It says A. We will see if A is there in the set or not. Yes, it is there. Then we will put its right side also in the set. As A is there, we will put B here. Now move to the next of functional dependencies. Here in the left side, there are two attributes A, C. A and C. So both these attributes should be in the set. A is there, C is not there. So we cannot put its right side means D in the set. So next, move to the next functional dependency, its left side is B and if we see B is here, so of course we will put E also in the set. Now we are not done yet, we will repeat this exercise until there is no change in the attributes. So again A is there, so B should be there, it's already there, so we are fine. A C, C is not there, so we cannot put D, B is there, E is there. So there is no change in the set of attributes, so we are all set and this is the closure of an attribute A. Now let's find the closure of an attribute AC. As there are two attributes, so we will put both these two attributes in the set A and C and again start with the first functional dependency. As A is the left side of the functional dependency and A is in the set, we will put its right side means B in the set. Now move to the next functional dependency. It contains A and C and both A and C are in the set. So of course we will put D also in the set. If we move to the next functional dependency, B is there in the left side and it is in the set also. So we will put its right side means E also in the set. Now if you will see that closure of A contains only A, B, E, three attributes. But closure of A, C contains A, B, C, D, E, all the attributes which were the part of the relation R. It contains all the attributes. So basically we can say that A, C is the super key of R. A, C is the super key of R because it identifies all the attributes of R. To find out if it is the minimal candidate key or primary key of R, we need to find that this super key is minimum. Means if we remove any attribute from, from this super key, then it won't identify all the attributes. For A, we have already seen uh, that it contains, if we remove C, basically A only identifies A, B, E. So of course we cannot remove C. If we remove A, so if you find the closure of C, it will contain only C. So separately, neither A nor C can uniquely identify all the attributes of R. So we can say A, C as together can identify all the attributes of R. So A, C is a super key and as well as it is the minimal candidate key or we can say that is the primary key of the relation R. So this is the way how to find the primary key of relation R.